Welcome to this demonstration of creating your first visual application with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmetzer. In this demonstration, we are showing you how to create your first Visual Builder application. We'll go through the steps of creating a project, adding team members, visually developing the application, preview, share, and deploy of the application, and then we'll show you how to manage code changes, go through a code review cycle, and redeploy the applications automatically. You start in the organization page and you create a new project. You provide a name for the project and description, and you can also choose whether it's a private or a shared one across teams. Then you're going to choose the visual application template for your project. This would help set up your project for a visual application. You can specify a name for the Git repository, choose a template for how your application is going to look like, and point to an existing Visual Builder runtime environment. This should be set up by your organization manager. You can also create a workspace if you want to and choose a wiki language. Let's click Finish to create the project. This will provision the full infrastructure for your project, including issue tracking, Git repository, wikis, and much more. It would take a couple of minutes. And once done, you're going to be navigated into the project homepage. Let's look at what happened in the project so far using the activity stream that is right here in the middle. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, we'll see what happened in our project. We created a project and then created the Git repository in this project. We then committed into this Git repository the template application based on the template that you chose in the wizard. The next thing we did is create a couple of build jobs that would take your application and package it, as well as another build job that would take your application and deploy the application. There's one more change that you need to do to one of the build jobs, and that's the deploy job. If you click on the build area, you'll be able to go to the deploy job, click on it, and then you'll be able to edit the configuration of this job. In the build job steps, you would want to provide the correct username and password to your Visual Builder instance to allow you to deploy the application under this user. Once you're done, click Save, and your deploy job is now ready. Now we're ready to start working on our application. We can add other team members that would have access to the application. By clicking on Add Member, you can specify which membership level they are going to have. For example, developers have access to the code repositories. And then from the list of users, you can pick up the member of your organization that you would like to add to the specific project. Team members can collaborate on the code and see each other changes do code reviews, and many other things. Now let's go over and see our Git repository. In our Git repository, we currently have the base template application. You can actually go and access each one of the files and modify them directly from here, but an easier way to modify a visual application is through the designer. We're going to click to create a new workspace and provide it with a name. The workspace can start from the existing Git repository, which is what we're doing here. We're going to create a new branch uh, from the master for this repository. But you can also create a completely new application from here or import an existing application by pointing to a zip file uh, of the exported application. Once you create the workspace, we're going to then navigate you automatically to the visual editor where you'll be able to modify the code. The workspace is kind of your local copy of the code. In this example, we're going to very quickly develop an application that access this REST service. This REST service uh, provides information about various countries. We can test the REST service from here, see the result, copy them as a sample for our response, and create the connection to the REST service. 
And then we're going to create a little web application that would show us the list of countries. So provide a name for the application, choose a template, and then you'll be taken into the visual editor for designing your web page. We'll pick up a table component and put it on the page right after this heading up here. And then bind it to the data coming from the REST endpoint. We'll choose the specific fields we want to show, such as the flag, the name, and the capital of the country. Let's switch the type of display for the flag to show an image. I choose an ID for the record and click next and finish to populate our table. So we did some changes in our application code. We are working on our specific branch of the code, the UI work, and now we're ready to commit the changes or even push them into the Git repository. So again, doing a push here, we can provide a commit message and this would push it into the branch that we created in the Git repository in Visual Builder Studio. We can test our application by hitting the run button and getting a preview of the application in our browser. So this is how the application is going to look like. This is one option called the preview. Another option is sharing an application. Sharing an application would actually take the application and deploy it to our environment and give us a shareable URL that we can then send to other members of the team to test the application. If we're happy with the results, we can click the Publish button. Publish button would take the changes in our branch and would merge them into the master branch. We're going to go through a simple merge right now, and later on we'll go through a merge with a code review. A simple merge basically takes your code um, and commits it and then merge it into the master branch, assuming there are no conflicts, and then it's going to start the deployment process for your application. So let's go back to our project in Visual Builder Studio, just clicking on the title over here. And in our activity stream, we can see that the job has started and is right now executing. If we click on this job, we'll see this is the package job. Let's go into the configuration to see why this job started. And we can see that the job is hooked up to our Git repository, to the master branch, and is automatically invoked each time there are changes in the master branch. Since we merged code into the master, the job has started. The job is going to optimize our application and then generate zip files with the artifacts that we want to deploy. There are other operations you can do on visual application as other parts of the steps in the build. You can also do the deployment using the Oracle deployment step, which is what is being done in the deploy um, job that we see here. Okay. Now, these two jobs are actually hooked up together in a pipeline. A pipeline streams line several jobs into a flow. In our case, once we run the package job, the next thing we'll do is run the deploy job. And you can actually see up here, the deploy job just started now because the package job finished. Click on the pipeline to see the latest run, and you can see the status of each of the jobs. A green indicates successful uh, compilation. Um, gray indicates something that is in progress, and if we would see red, it means the job failed. But we can see that our deploy job actually completed successfully. So we can now go back to our environments. Over here, we have the connection to our Visual Builder runtime. In this case, it's part of Oracle Integration Cloud. We can click on the deployment tab to see the deployed applications on this instance. Specifically, we can see the shared application we shared before, as well as the deployed application that just now finished the deployment. You can click on the application to access the running application on the runtime server. So this is our application running and we completed a full development cycle. Now let's go over and see how you manage changes to the application. To do that, we'll go back to the designer tab and reopen our application, still working on the same repository and in a separate a branch of the code. We'll do a few minor changes to the application. We'll change the look and feel of the table to a grid, and we'll change the title to something a little bit more descriptive and with a different font size. Once we're done with the changes, again, we can push those changes into our Git repository using the Git menu up here. We'll push it and provide a comment about the changes we did. 
if we're happy with the changes, we want to merge them back into the master line of code, so we'll click the Publish button. This time, we're going to use a merge after review process. This will introduce a step where we review the changes. We're going to provide a comment for the review, and then we can choose reviewers from our team members. For simplicity, I'm going to use myself as the reviewer. You can also link it to issues in your issue tracking, and then you can click the Publish. This would create a merge request inside the project, and this would be assigned to each one of the people you indicated before. So in this case, I'm also the reviewer of the code, so I can go to the Merge Request tab in our Visual Builder Studio environment to look at the merge requests that are awaiting my review. Here's the merge request. We can click on it. We can see the full uh, description of the text that was sent to me. You can click the changed file and visually see the changes in the code that were done in our application, the change in the title and the change to a grid display. And then you can approve or reject the changes. In our case, I'm going to approve them. And once you approve the changes, you can also merge them into the master branch, which is what we're doing here. You can optionally delete the branch if you want to. So again, now we basically took the code changes, merged them into the master branch, which means that now we're going to kick off automatically the package job again, which then would kick off the pipeline for also deploying the application, assuming that the packaging is successful. So we can click on the job, see its progress from here, see the status of the past jobs. You can also click to see the log files of each one. And again, we can go back and see all the jobs, uh, all the queue that we have here, and also look at the specific pipelines that are being executed. All right, so now we're doing the deploy job, taking the application and redeploying it. It's finished successfully, which means that we can go to the URL we were on before and just refresh the page to see the changes to the deployed application that have been implemented. So this is the full development cycle with Visual Builder Studio.